Did you know that Miami Cubans and Island Cubans can be totally different genetically? Here's why. Many have noticed that Miami Cubans often look heavily European, sometimes even indistinguishable from typical white Americans. On average, Cubans score around 70% of European ancestry, but Miami Cubans? They often score more than 95% of European ancestry, sometimes being almost entirely Iberian. Meanwhile, Cubans from the island, who are often seen in sports, appear predominantly African. This isn't a coincidence. It's rooted in history. Historically, Cuba was less evenly mixed than Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. After the 1959 Cuban Revolution, around 500,000 Cubans fled to Miami. Many of these refugees were from the middle and upper classes and were virtually entirely of European descent. When the communist government seized their assets, these families left Cuba, creating a migration wave that was overwhelmingly European in genetic makeup. Later waves of Cuban migration to Miami, like the Mariel boat lift, were more diverse and included many Afro-Cubans. But that initial heavily European wave shaped the genetic profile of Miami's Cuban population. That's why Miami Cubans and Island Cubans can look so different. Got your DNA tested by a major company, but got disappointed because they didn't explore your connection to ancient populations? You have to realize that these companies do not actively update their databases with all the ancient samples being discovered daily and do not break down your results as thoroughly as possible. If you already had your DNA tested and would like to see how similar you are to ancient populations, which modern people you are closest to, and see how your ancestry would look from the Neolithic age to the medieval times, then click the first link in our bio.